Brno is a city in the South Moravian region of the Czech Republic. Located at the confluence of the Svitava and Savratka rivers, Brno has about 380,000 inhabitants, making it the second largest city in the Czech Republic after the capital, Prague, and one of the 100 largest cities of the EU. The Brno metropolitan area has more than 600,000 inhabitants. Brno is the former capital city of Moravia and the political and cultural hub of the South Moravian region. It is the center of the Czech judiciary, with the seats of the Constitutional Court, the Supreme Court, the Supreme Administrative Court, and the Supreme Public Prosecutor's Office, and a number of state authorities, including the Ombudsman, and the Office for the Protection of Competition. Brno is also an important center of higher education, with 33 faculties belonging to 13 institutes of higher education and about 89,000 students. Brno Exhibition Center ranks among the largest exhibition centers in Europe, the complex opened in 1928 and established the tradition of large exhibitions and trade fairs held in Brno. Brno hosts motorbike and other races on the Masaryk circuit, a tradition established in 1930, in which the Road Racing World Championship Grand Prix is one of the most prestigious races. Another cultural tradition is an international fireworks competition, Ignis Brunensis, that attracts tens of thousands of daily visitors. The most visited sites of the city include the Spielberg Castle and Fortress and the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul on Petrov Hill, two medieval buildings that dominate the cityscape and are often depicted as its traditional symbols. The other large preserved castle near the city is Vaveri Castle by Brno Reservoir. Another architectural monument of Brno is the functionalist Villa Tegenhot which has been included on the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites. One of the natural sites nearby is the Moravian Karst. The city is a member of the UNESCO Creative Cities Network and has been designated as a City of Music in 2017. Names. The etymology of the name Brno is disputed. It might be derived from the old Czech brnie, muddy, swampy. Alternative derivations are a Slavic verb Berniti or a Celtic language spoken in the area before it was overrun by Germanic peoples and later Slavic peoples. Throughout its history, Brno's locals also referred to the town in other languages, including Brunn in German, in Yiddish and Bruna in Latin. The city was also referred to as Brunn in English, but that usage is not common today. The asteroid 2889 Brno was named after the city, as well as the Bren light machine gun, one of the most famous weapons of World War II. History The Brno Basin has been inhabited since prehistoric times, but the town's direct predecessor was a fortified settlement of the Great Moravian Empire known as Stare Zamki, which was inhabited from the Neolithic age until the early 11th century. In the early 11th century Brno was established as a castle of a non-ruling prince from the House of Premislid, and Brno became one of the centers of Moravia along with Olomouc and Zanajmo. Brno was first mentioned in Cosmos Chronica Bomorum dated to the year 1091, when Bohemian King Vratislav II besieged his brother Conrad at Brno Castle. In the mid-11th century, Moravia was divided into three separate territories. Each had its own ruler, coming from the Premislids dynasty, but independent of the other two, and subordinated only to the Bohemian ruler in Prague. The seats of these rulers and thus the capitals of these territories were the castles and towns of Brno, Olomouc, and Zanajmo. In the late 12th century, Moravia began to reunify, forming the Margraviate of Moravia. From then until the mid of the 17th century, it was not clear which town should be the capital of Moravia. Political power was divided between Brno and Olomouc, but Zanajmo also played an important role. The Moravian Diet, the Moravian Land Tables, and the Moravian Land Court were all seated in both cities at once. However, Brno was the official seat of the Moravian Margraves, and later its geographical position closer to Vienna also became important. Otherwise, until 1642 Olomouc had a larger population than Brno, and it was the seat of the only Roman Catholic diocese in Moravia. In 1243 Brno was granted the large and small city privileges by the king, and thus it was recognized as a royal city. In 1324 Queen Elizabeth Richeza of Poland founded the current Basilica of the Assumption of Our Lady which is now her final resting place. In the 14th century, Brno became one of the centers for the Moravian Regional Assemblies, whose meetings alternated between Brno and Olomouc. These assemblies made political, legal, and financial decisions. Brno and Olomouc were also the seats of the Land Court and the Moravian Land Tables, 
thus they were the two most important cities in Moravia. From the mid-14th century to the early 15th century the Spielberg Castle had served as the permanent seat of the Margraves of Moravia. One of them was elected the King of the Romans. Brno was besieged in 1428 and again in 1430 by the Hussites during the Hussite Wars. Both attempts to conquer the city failed. 17th century. In 1641, in the midst of the Thirty Years' War, the Holy Roman Emperor and Margrave of Moravia Ferdinand III ordered the permanent relocation of the Diet, Court, and the land tables from Olomouc to Brno, as Olomouc's Collegium Nordicum made it one of the primary targets of Swedish armies. In 1642 Olomouc surrendered to the Swedish army, which then stayed there for eight years. Meanwhile, Brno, as the only Moravian city which under the leadership of Jean-Louis Redouet de Souches succeeded in defending itself from the Swedes under General Leonard Torstensson, served as the sole capital of the state. After the end of the Thirty Years' War, Brno retained its status as the sole capital. This was later confirmed by the Holy Roman Emperor Joseph II in 1782, and again in 1849 by the Moravian Constitution. Today, the Moravian land tables are stored in the Moravian Regional Archive, and they are included among the national cultural sites of the Czech Republic. During the 17th century Spielberg Castle was rebuilt as a huge Baroque citadel. Brno was besieged by the Prussians in 1742 under the leadership of Frederick the Great, but the siege was ultimately unsuccessful. In 1777 the bishopric of Brno was established. Matthias Franz Graf von Chorinsky Freiherr von Ledsky was the first bishop. 19th century. In December 1805 the Battle of Austerlitz was fought near the city. The battle is also known as the Battle of the Three Emperors. Brno itself was not involved with the battle, but the French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte spent several nights here at that time and again in 1809. In 1839 the first train arrived in Brno from Vienna. This was the beginning of rail transport in what is now the Czech Republic. In the years 1859 to 1864 the city fortifications were almost completely removed. In 1869 a horse car service started to operate in Brno. It was the first tram service in what would later become the Czech Republic. Gregor Mendel conducted his groundbreaking experiments in genetics while he was a monk at St. Thomas's Abbey in Brno in the 1850s. 20th century in Greater Brno. Around 1900 Brno, which until 1918 consisted in administrative terms only of the central city area, had a predominantly German-speaking population, as opposed to the suburbs, which were predominantly Czech-speaking. Life in Brunn, Brno was therefore bilingual, and what was called in German, Brunnerisch, was a mixed idiom containing elements from both languages. In 1919, after World War I, two neighboring towns, Kralovo Pol and Husavice, and 21 other municipalities were annexed to Brno, creating Greater Brno. This was done to dilute the German-speaking majority of close to 55,000 by the addition of the Czech communities of the city's neighborhood. Included in the German-speaking group were almost all of the 12,000 Jewish inhabitants, including several of the city's better-known personalities, who made a substantial contribution to the city's cultural life. Greater Brno was almost seven times larger, with a population of about 222,000 before that Brno had about 130,000 inhabitants. In 1921 Brno became the capital of the land of Moravia. Before that it was the capital of the Margraviate of Moravia. Seven years later, Brno became the capital of the land of Moravia Silesia. In 1930, 200,000 inhabitants declared themselves to be of Czech, and some 52,000 of German nationality, in both cases including the respective Jewish citizens. During the German occupation of the Czech lands between 1939 and 1945 all Czech universities including those of Brno were closed by the Nazis. The Faculty of Law became the headquarters of the Gestapo, and the University Hall of Residence was used as a prison. About 35,000 Czechs and some American and British prisoners of war were imprisoned and tortured there. About 800 civilians were executed or died. Executions were public. Between 1941 and 1942, Transports from Brno deported 10,081 Jews to their Schenstadt concentration camp. At least another 960 people, mostly of mixed race, followed in 1943 and 1944. After Terezin, many of them were sent to Auschwitz concentration camp, Minsk ghetto, Rijauiak and other ghettos and concentration camps. Although Terezin was not an extermination camp, 995 people transported from Brno died there. 
After the war only 1,033 people returned. Industrial facilities such as arms factory Seskoslovenska Zebrojavka and aircraft engine factories Wigwork and the city center were targeted by several Allied bombardment campaigns between 1944 and 1945. The air strikes and later artillery fire killed some 1,200 people and destroyed 1,278 buildings. After the city's occupation by the Red Army on 26 April 1945 and the end of the war, ethnic German residents were forcibly expelled. In the so-called Brno Death March, beginning on 31 May 1945, about 27,000 German inhabitants of Brno were marched 64 kilometers to the Austrian border. According to testimony collected by German sources, about 5,200 of them died during the march. Later estimates by Czech sources put the death toll at about 1,700, with most deaths due to an epidemic of shigalosis. At the beginning of the communist era in Czechoslovakia, in 1948, the government abolished Moravian autonomy and Brno hence ceased to be the capital of Moravia. Since then Moravia has been divided into administrative regions and Brno is administrative center of the South Moravian region. In 1960s and 1970s, large panel housing estates were built in border districts. During communist era, most of the workforce was employed in industry. After 1989, part of the workforce switched from industry to services. Notably, Brno became IT center of Czechia. Nevertheless, new industrial zones were built at the edge of the city. Geography. Brno is located in the southeastern part of the Czech Republic, at the confluence of the Svitava and Savratka rivers and there are also several brooks flowing through it, including the Veverka, Panovka, and Rika. The Savratka river flows through the city for about 29 kilometers, the Svitava river cuts a 13 kilometers path through the city. Brno is situated at the crossroads of ancient trade routes which have joined northern and southern European civilizations for centuries, and is a part of the Danube Basin region. The city is historically connected with Vienna, which lies a mere 110 km to the south. The width of Brno is 21.5 km measured from the east to the west and its overall area is 230 km. Within the city limits are the Brno Reservoir, several ponds, and other standing bodies of water, for example reservoirs in the Marion Valley or the Zebedin Pond. Brno is surrounded by wooded hills on three sides. About 6,379 hectares of the area of the city is forest, i.e. 28%. Due to its location between the Bohemian Moravian Highlands and the Southern Moravian Lowlands, Brno has a moderate climate. Compared to other cities in the country, Brno has a very high air quality, which is ensured by a good natural circulation of air. No severe storms or similar natural disasters have ever been recorded in the city. Climate. Under the Köppen climate classification, Brno has an oceanic climate for minus 3 degrees Celsius original isotherm, but near of the or include by updated classification in humid continental climate with cold winters and warm to hot summers. However, in the last 20 years the temperature has increased, and summer days with temperature above 30 degrees Celsius are quite common. The average temperature is 9.4 degrees Celsius, the average annual precipitation is about 505 mm, the average number of precipitation days is 150, the average annual sunshine is 1,771 hours, and the prevailing wind direction is northwest. The weather box below shows average data between years 1961 and 1990. Its height above sea level varies from 190 meters to 497 meters. The highest peak in the municipal area is the Kopacek Hill, the highest point overall lies in Utekov on the border with the municipality of Vranov. Cityscape. Administration. By law Brno is a statutory city. It consists of 29 city districts the highest body of its self-government is the assembly of the city of Brno. The city is headed by the Lord Mayor. He or she has right to use the mayor's insignia and represents the city outwards. As of 2019, the Lord Mayor is Markita Vankova. The executive body is the city council and local councils of the city districts. The city council has 11 members including the Lord Mayor and her four deputies. The assembly of the city elects the Lord Mayor and other members of the city council, establishes the local police, and is also entitled to grant citizenship of honor in the awards of the city of Brno. The head of the assembly of the city of Brno in personal matters is the chief executive who according to certain special regulations carries out the function of employer of the other members of the city management. The chief executive is directly responsible to the Lord Mayor.
The city itself forms a separate district the Brno City District surrounded by the Brno Country District. Brno is divided into 29 administrative divisions and consists of 48 cadastral areas. Confusingly, there is a difference between a city district of Brno, the Brno City District, and the Brno Country District. The city districts of Brno significantly vary in their size by both population and area. The most populated city district of Brno is the Brno Center which has over 91,000 of residents and the less populated are Brno Orison and Brno Utekov with about 500 residents. By its area the largest one is Brno Bystrik with 27.24 square kilometers and the smallest is Brno Novi Liskovec with 1.66 square kilometers. Brno is the home to the highest courts in the Czech judiciary. The Supreme Court is on Borisova Street, the Supreme Administrative Court is on Moroske Namsti, and the Constitutional Court is on Jostova Street, and the Supreme Public Prosecutor's Office of the Czech Republic is on Jesuitska Street. Demography According to the 2011 census, Brno had 385,913 inhabitants. The largest ethnic groups were Czechs, Moravians, Slovaks, Ukrainians, Vietnamese, and Poles. But 23.7% of inhabitants did not write any nationality. In 2001 census, 76.1% were Czechs and 18.7% Moravians, so in total 94.8% Czechs in wider meaning. Brno experienced the largest increase in population during the 19th century at the time of the Industrial Revolution and in 1919 due to merger with surrounding municipalities. A slight decrease in population after 1989 was caused by suburbanization. Culture. The city spends about 30 million euro every year on culture. There are many museums, theaters and other cultural institutions. Brno is also a vibrant university city with about 90,000 students and a number of festivals and other cultural events. Since the 1990s Brno has experienced a great cultural rebirth, facades of historical monuments are being repaired and various exhibitions, shows, etc., are being established or extended. In 2007 a summit of 15 presidents of the EU member states was held in Brno. Despite its urban character, some of the city districts still preserve traditional Moravian folklore, including folk festivals with traditional Moravian costumes, Moravian wines, folk music and dances. Unlike smaller municipalities, in Brno the traditional folk festivals are held locally by city districts. Among the city districts where annual traditional Moravian festivals take place are Zidanice, Lysen, or Ivanovice. Hantek is a unique slang that originated in Brno. Sites. Brno has hundreds of historical sites, including one designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO, and eight monuments listed among the National Cultural Heritage of the Czech Republic. Majority of the main sites of Brno are situated in its historical center. The city has the third largest historic preservation zone in the Czech Republic, the largest one being that of the Czech capital Prague. However, there is a considerable difference in the size of historical preservation zones of both cities. While Brno has 484 legally protected sites, Prague has as many as 1,330. Spielberg Castle, originally a royal castle founded in the 13th century, was from the 17th century a fortress and feared prison. Today it is one of the city's principal monuments. Similarly important is the Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul. The cathedral was built during the 14th and 15th centuries in place of an 11th century chapel. In its present form with two neo-Gothic towers it was finished only in 1909. The other large castle near the city is Vaveri Castle. Abbey of St. Thomas is the place where Gregor Mendel established the new science of genetics. Church of St. Thomas is the final resting place of its founder Margrave of Moravia John Henry of Luxembourg and his son King of the Romans and Margrave of Moravia Jobst of Moravia. Basilica of the Assumption of Our Lady the final resting place also of its founder Queen Elizabeth Richeza. Church of St. James is one of the most preserved and most spectacular Gothic churches in Brno. Brno Ossuary which is the second largest ossuary in Europe, after the Catacombs of Paris. Another ossuary is Capuchin Crypt with mummies of Capuchin monks and some of the notable people of their era, like architect Morik Grimm or the famous mercenary leader Baron Trank. Labyrinth under Zelny TRH, a system of underground corridors and cellars dating back to Middle Ages, has been recently opened to the public. These cellars were used mainly for storing food, maturing beer and wine, and as wartime shelters. Originally, they were not interconnected as they are now. 
This happened later during the reconstruction in 2009. Brno is home to a functionalist synagogue and the largest Jewish cemetery in Moravia. A Jewish population lived in Brno as early as the 13th century, and remnants of tombstones can be traced back to as early as 1349. The functionalist synagogue was built between 1934 and 1936. While there were 12,000 members of the Brno Jewish community in 1938, only 1,000 survived the Nazi persecution during Germany's occupation in World War II. Today, the cemetery and synagogue are maintained by a Brno Jewish community once again. The only Czech mosque, founded in 1998, is also located in Brno. The era between the world wars brought a building boom to the city, leaving it with many modern and especially functionalist buildings, the most celebrated one being Villa Tegendhat, designed by architect Ludwig Mies van der Rohe in the 1920s for the wealthy family of Fritz Tegendhat, and finished in 1930. It was designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 2001. Another renowned architect who significantly shaped Brno was Arnest Wiesner. Other functionalist buildings include Avian Hotel and Morava Palace. The Brno Exhibition Center is the city's premier attraction for international business visitors. Annually, over 1 million visitors attend over 40 professional trade fairs and business conferences held here. Luzanki is the oldest public park opened in the current Czech Republic, as a public park it was established in the late 18th century. Dennis Gardens were founded in the early 19th century and are the first public park in the present-day Czech Republic founded by public administration authorities, while Luzanki Park was founded by the Emperor of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Spielberg Park is classified as a national cultural site of the Czech Republic as a unique piece of garden architecture. One of Brno's more recent additions is the Brno Astronomical Clock. The AS Tower, opened in 2013 and 111 meters tall, is currently the tallest building in the Czech Republic. Festivals. The biggest festival held in Brno is the fireworks competition festival Ignis Brunensis held annually in June. It is part of a festival with a bold name, Brno, city in the center of Europe. Ignis Brunensis is the biggest show of its kind held in Central Europe. Usually attracts one or two hundred thousand visitors every day. International film festival Cinema Mundi shows about 60 films competing for Oscar nomination in the category of Best Foreign Language Film. The Theatre World Brno is another international festival annually held in the city where the Brno theatres in the city centre stages around 100 performances by both national and foreign ensembles. There are many other festivals regularly held in Brno, for instance the International Music Festival Brno, the Spielberg International Music Festival, the Summer Shakespeare Festival, and many others. Every September, Brno is home to a wine festival to celebrate the harvest in the surrounding wine-producing region. Theaters. Brno has the oldest theater building in Central Europe, the Reduta Theater at Zelny TRH. So the city has a long tradition in theater productions, the first theater plays in Brno took place probably in the 1660s in the city tavern, today's Reduta Theater, However, the first, real theater, with theater boxes was built in 1733 in this complex. The first documented professional Czech performance took place in 1767 again in the Reduta Theater. The play was called Zemilovani Panakni and was performed by the Venice Theater Company. The same year Mozart performed in the theater with his elder sister Anna Maria. In that year the Mozart family spent Christmas in Brno, this rare visit is commemorated by a statue of Mozart as a child in front of the Reduta Theatre. Also the Reduta's Mozart Hall was named after him. The National Theatre Brno is the leading scene of opera, drama and ballet in the city of Brno. The first permanent seat of the National Theatre Brno was established in 1884 and it was called Narodny Devadlo v Bernay. Today this institution owns the Mahan Theatre, built in 1882, Janacek Theatre built in 1965, and the Reduta Theater which is Central Europe's oldest theater. The composer Leos Janacek is also connected with the National Theater Brno. The Mahan Theater was the first theater building in Europe to be illuminated by Thomas Edison's electric light bulbs. At that time it was a completely new invention and there were no power plants built in the city, so a small steam power plant was built nearby just to power the theater, and Edison came to Brno in 1911 to see it. The most commercially successful theater in Brno is the Brno City Theater, founded in 1945. Its performances are usually sold out. They also stage about 150 performances abroad every year.
Repertoire of this theater consists primarily of musical and dramatical scene. There is a variety of smaller theaters in Brno, such as Dovodlo Bolka Polivki, Dovodlo Husa na Provaska, Ha Dovodlo, Lutkove Dovodlo Radost, Dovodlo Polarka, G Studio, Dovodlo V7 Apul, Cabinet Moose, Dovodlo Vankovka for children, etc. The Mahan Theater was originally called the City Theater and until 1918 it performed exclusively in German and was not part of the National Theater in Brno. Between 1971 and 1978 some plays were performed at the Brno Exhibition Center due to reconstruction of the Mahan Theater. Local Legends There are several legends connected with the city of Brno. One of the best known is the legend of the Brno Dragon. It is said that there was a terrible creature terrorizing the citizens of Brno. The people had never seen such a beast before, so they called it a dragon. They trembled in fear of the dragon until a brave man decided to kill the monster by tricking it into eating a carcass filled with lime. In reality the dragon was a crocodile, the preserved body of which is now displayed at the entrance of the old town hall. Crocodile and dragon motifs are common in Brno. A crocodile is the local stuffed baguette, and the city radio station is known as Radio Crocodile. Local baseball team is named Drachi Berno and local rugby club is named RC Dragon Berno. There is also local American football team called Berno Alligators. Intercity train connecting Berno and Czech capital city Prague is called Bernenski Drak. Next to the Dragon, at the old town hall the town's second well-known emblem is displayed. This is a wagon wheel made from a tree found and felled 50 miles away from the city. According to the story, a local man wagered to fell the tree, to make a wheel out of it, and to roll the wheel to the city of Brno, all this within a single day. Since the whole achievement was considered impossible by normal human means, the man was later believed to have called on the devil for assistance, and he died in poverty as a result. As a historic memento to victory over the Swedish army in 1645, the local Petrov Cathedral rings noon an hour earlier, at 11 o'clock because the locals and Swedish army were in stalemate and the Swedish general said he would withdraw if his army had not won by noon. The bell ringer tricked him by ringing the bell an hour early. Keeping his word, the general and his army left. Museums, libraries, and galleries. The most significant museum in Brno is the Moravian Museum which is the largest and the biggest museum in Moravia and the second in the Czech Republic. The museum was founded in 1817 and its collections include over 6 million objects. The biggest public library in Brno is the Moravian Library, it is the second largest library in the Czech Republic with about 4 million volumes. The biggest gallery in Brno is the Moravian Gallery and again it is the second largest institution of its kind in the Czech Republic and the biggest in Moravia. There is also a particular section of the Moravian Museum related to the oldest history of mankind in prehistoric Europe called Anthropos. There is also a technical museum which is the largest in Moravia and one of the largest in Czech Republic. The permanent expositions of the technical museum in Brno show the advance of science and technology, accompanied by various realistic models and restored machines. Short-term exhibitions of many different points of interest are also often held here. Education. Over the past two decades Brno evolved into an important university city. The number of students of higher education institutions reached 89,000 in 2010. The city also became home to a number of institutions directly related to research and development, like the Central European Institute of Technology, or the International Clinical Research Center in Brno. The city is also gaining importance in various fields of engineering, especially in software development, there are a number of companies focused on development operating in Brno. For example, AVG Technologies, IBM, AT&T Honeywell, Siemens, SGI, Red Hat, Motorola, etc. With over 40,000 students, Masaryk University is the largest university in Brno and the second biggest in the Czech Republic. Today, it consists of nine faculties, with more than 190 departments, institutes and clinics. It is one of the most significant institutions for education and research in the Czech Republic and a respected Central European University. The Brno University of Technology was established in 1899. Today with over 20,000 students it ranks among the Czech's biggest technical universities. Viktor Kaplan, inventor of the Kaplan turbine, spent nearly 30 years at German Technical University in Brno. Mendel University, named after the founder of genetics Gregor Mendel who created his revolutionary scientific theories in Brno, 
has roughly 10,000 students. Janáček Academy of Music and Performing Arts, named after Leos Janáček, was founded in 1947 and is one of two academies of music and drama in the Czech Republic. It holds the annual Leos Janáček competition. Sports. The city has a long history of motor racing. Among other events, the Masaryk Circuit hosts the prestigious MotoGP Championship. The annual Czech Republic Motorcycle Grand Prix is the most famous motor race in the Czech Republic. It is held here since 1950. Since 1968, Brno has been a permanent fixture on the European Touring Car Championship Series. 2010 FIBA World Championship for Women, where Czech squad managed to achieve silver medal, was played in Brno's Arena Vodava. There is also a horse race course at Brno Dvorska and an aeroclub airport in Medlanky. Several sports clubs represent the city in the various Czech leagues, including FC Zbrojovka Brno, HC Komita Brno, KP Brno, BC Brno and BK Brno, four baseball teams, lacrosse team Brno Ravens Lacrosse Club, American football team, two rugby teams and others. Tennis player Lucy Safarova comes from Brno as well as Lucas Rosal, who managed to beat top player Rafael Nadal in the second round of the 2012 Wimbledon Championships. Michal Brezina, one of the best Czech figure skaters, also comes from Brno. Transport. Public transport in Brno consists of 12 tram lines, 14 trolleybus lines and almost 40 day and 11 night bus lines. Trams have a long tradition in Brno. They first appeared on the streets in 1869. This was the first operation of horse-drawn trams in the current Czech Republic. The local public transport system is interconnected with regional public transport in one integrated system called IDS JMK, and also directly connects several nearby municipalities with the city. Its main operator is the DPMB company which also operates a ferry route, mainly recreational, at the Brno Dam Lake. There is a tourist minibus providing a brief tour of the city. In 2011, the city announced plans to build a metro system light rail system to alleviate overcrowding of trams and to reduce the congestion on the surface. Railway transport started to operate in the city in 1839 on the Brno Vienna line. This was the first operating railway line in the current Czech Republic. Today's Brno is a railway junction of supranational importance. For passenger traffic there are nine stations and stops. The current main railway station is the central hub of regional train services. Every day about 50,000 passengers use it and 500 trains pass through it. It is currently operating at full capacity. The current main station building is outdated and lacks sufficient operating capacity, but the construction of the new station has been postponed several times for various reasons. A central station referendum was held on 7 and 8 October 2016, the same day as regional elections. Road transport makes Brno an international crossroad of highways. There are two motorways on the southern edge of the city, D1 leading to Ostrava and to Prague and D2 leading to Bratislava. Not far from the city limits there is also the D52 motorway, leading to Vienna. Another motorway, D43, which will connect Brno to northwestern Moravia, is planned. The city is gradually building the large city ring road, several road tunnels were built and more tunnels are planned. Also, due to the congestion and private transport the city continues to strive to build more parking ramps including underground ones. But this effort has not always been successful. Air transport is enabled by two functional airports. One of them is a public international airport Brno Tirani Airport. The airport has seen a sharp increase in passenger traffic up to 2011. However the number of served passengers has been since in decline with the only remaining scheduled flights being to London and Munich. The airport also serves as one of the two bases for police helicopters in the Czech Republic. The other airport, Medlanky Airport, is a small domestic airport serving mainly recreational activities such as flying hot air balloons, gliders or aircraft RC models. Cycling is widespread in Brno also due to lowland nature of the landscape. Existing tracks for cycling and roller skating in 2011 measured in total approximately 38 kilometers and are gradually being expanded. And there is also one long bikeway leading to Vienna, the track is approximately 130 kilometers long. Several hiking trails of the Czech Tourist Club also pass through Brno. Notable people, Gregor Mendel, scientist, friar, Ernst Mach, physicist, philosopher, Maria Neruda, violinist, Adam Andra, rock climber, Ludwig Strakosch, operatic baritone, Adolf Luz, architect, Eric Wolfgang Korngold, composer, conductor, 
Ladislav Vacha, gymnast. Hugo Haas, actor, director. Jan Guidos, gymnast. Georg Placek, physicist. Kurt Gödel, philosopher, mathematician, physicist. Bohumil Rabel, author. Vicheslava Kapralova, composer, conductor. Milan Kundera, author. Rudolf Poch, ice hockey player. Yuri Daler, cyclist. Lubo Kristek, artist. Yuri Pospisil, basketball player. Jan Stejskul, footballer. Roman Kuklita, footballer. Robert Kron, ice hockey player. Jana Novotna, tennis player. Yaramir Blazek, footballer. Magdalena Kozina, opera singer. Lieber Zabransky, ice hockey player and coach. David Kostoletsky, sports shooter. Adam Svoboda, ice hockey player. Miroslava Konopkova, rower. Jan Polak, footballer. Lucy Safarova, tennis player. Carol Abraham, motorcycle racer. Nicole Melliker, American tennis player. International relations. Twin towns. Sister cities. Brno is twinned with. Bratislava, Slovakia. Dallas, United States. Debrecen, Hungary. Kaunas, Lithuania. Kharkiv, Ukraine. Leeds, England, United Kingdom. Leipzig, Germany. Moscow, Russia. Poznan, Poland. Rennes, France. Sankt Polten, Austria. Stuttgart, Germany. Voronezh, Russia. Cooperation agreements. Brno has cooperation agreements with. Porto, Portugal. Daejeon, South Korea. Vienna, Austria. Nearby cities. This tool shows only cities with population over 300,000 in radius of 300 kilometers.